Hi, my name's Helena, and today we're going to look at the box order symmetry provided by Hermes Medical Solutions. This program can allow you to do personalised dosimetry for your radionuclide treatment planning. So in this case, we have loaded a single time point of post-therapy lutetium dotatate imaging. So we can have multiple time points as well in this program, but a really nice feature is that actually you only need one time point uh, to be able to get a reasonably accurate assessment of the dose. So we've got the SPECT CT loaded here. This is from day four after the treatment. We have already done a quantitative reconstruction. So the voxel values of the SPECT are in becquerels per mil. You can take that either directly from your scanner, if you have a scanner that can generate those values, or you can use the Homeo reconstruction tool to help with that. So we just set up the dose calculation. We have here to choose from the list of available isotopes. So for me, we are both imaging with lutetium in this case, because it's post-therapy imaging, and we're also treating with lutetium. But you can see here that we have the option to do a theranostic dose uh, prediction. So if, if we were, if we had uh, a set of indium-111 or, or any other um, diagnostic isotope images uh, that we're going to get the same distribution of the treatment for, we can use those to make a prediction of the dose and therefore scale our dose accordingly. But for us, this is post-therapy, so lutetium, lutetium. Let's say we put in 7.4 gigs of lutetium dotatate. And this is a day four scan, so I'm going to just type in the time here. It's 96 hours. Now, our options for how to deal with a single time point image, we can choose either to model the, the half-life as a physical half-life, so not, not so good in this case, but maybe appropriate for a CERT or anything that just stays put and decays only by the physical decay of the, the radionuclide. You can also choose an effective half-life, so if you know either from literature or from previous patient measurements or external dose rate measurements on, on your own patient, what that effective half-life might be, you can choose that and just type it into this box. Uh, so this half-life would then be applied to every voxel in this image. Or we can choose the Hanscheid approximation. That's what I'll use today. This is a, a special dose approximation that we can use for dotatates or dotapeptide treatments. So once we've chosen this, I now click Calculate. What our software is now doing is a voxel-level Monte Carlo simulation of the dose deposition through the CT of the patient. If you'd like more details on that, we have a lot of publications supporting the validation of that algorithm. What we can see now on the screen, so it's done that in the background, we've done lots of work to optimize that Monte Carlo calculation so it's fast enough for, for clinical use. Uh, so we have that clinical um, Monte Carlo photon dosimetry, the electrons are treated purely as a multiplying factor. And now we have this dose map available. So we can just take a visual look, see, see, how much, see how the dose distribution is in this patient. We can see the majority of the dose in this tumour in the liver. So that's good. That's what we're trying to target. We can also see just a little bit of dose in other areas. So we can see the, the two kidneys uh, on this scan and also the spleen uh, over here have got a small amount of dose. So this is in grey. We're looking at voxel units of grey now, the unit of radiation dose. Um, let's take a look at the quantitation on this. So I'm just going to use a single click segmentation again to put down a region over this liver tumour. And maybe we could put an additional region. Let's go for this little bit here. So we can look at that straight off on the dose volume histogram. Or we can take a look also at, uh, at the dose stats in the table. Of course, you can also draw regions on the CT, so maybe we want to check uh, the dose in this, in this kidney. Let's just window it down so we can see a little bit there. And we can use a paintbrush tool, so let's just activate this paintbrush and start drawing. So it's a really easy tool to use. You just draw on whatever slice you want to, scroll a few slices, draw on the next slice, can edit if it's not right, and then it's interpolated the other slices uh, in between, and then you edit those, start from the inside uh, to add, start from the outside to take away, 
and then you can quite quickly start to build up your kidney region. And you can see this appearing uh, not only on the other views, but also on the MIP uh, as well. So you get a nice kind of 3D representation of these regions. There we go. Let's finish that off. And now that's also available to see on our dose volume histogram too. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in Hermia software. 